So I'm pretty sure you might be wondering that what I mean by this 2.385, right? Because definitely I cannot draw 2.385 number of red balls. This basically means that if we play infinite number of uh, game, in that case, what is the average Vortican aspect from it? So that is what this number tells us. Now coming back to our original game. Uh, so my question, original question was, is this game going to be pro profitable for me or not? Now, the we cannot get this answer from the last 2.385 value. So maybe we need to tweak our ra random variable or the expected value in such a way that we can reach to an appropriate response. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take a different random value. And this time I'm going to take like 150 rupees, which I was paying to a student and minus 10 rupees, which the student is going to pay me up. So with this two random uh, values, I'm going to draw my probabilities now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take probability that my X is 150. This is only going to happen if the probability it's going that he's going to get all four red balls, which is 0 0.133. The probability that X is equal to minus 10 means when he's going to be lost, so that is going to be either the expected value was 0 or 1 or 2 or 3, right? This number of red balls. So this probability is for, let's add it up. So I will get the prob uh, probability for random value going to be minus 10 is 0 0.867. Let's go ahead and see a few more things. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate my expected value now. So I'm going to take 150 into 0 0.133 minus 10 into 0 0.867. If you do this calculation, I got 11.28, which means on average per game means per player can win 11.28 value. And that means this game is going to be huge loss for me, right? I was an idiot to create such sort of game. Casino will never do such mistakes. What casino is going to ensure? they will ensure that this expected value should always come out to be negative and not positive. If the value comes out to be negative, it will be always a profit for them. So what is the way they can do that? They can decrease the price money from 150 to let's say 100, or they can increase the penalty, which is from 10 rupees to 50. I would leave this as an exercise for you. I would say that take an example where if I win the game, I pay you 100. And if you couldn't win the game, you pay me 50 or maybe make it 20 up to you. And then again, see that what is going to be your expected value. Keep it as a homework. Once you complete this, you will get much more better clarity on this example. So please try that. This is how the basically the casinos and all uh, come to a conclusion that they will always win. <laughs> nice way of understanding with the help of maths.